Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PC Geo video. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at a Creep Show Gengar deck and expanded here. The idea is this can, can insta KO any Pokemon as long as it has three or more damage counters on it. We can accumulate that with cards like Roxy and Weezing, and also through Tapu Koko Flying Flip, and through cards like Horror Energy and Spell Tech. So, we have a lot of ways we can get damage on the board for Creep Show to take an insta KO on any V Maxes, Tag Teams, EXs, or GXs. Um, yeah, I thought I would come at you guys for more expanded content standard right now. To be honest, I'm not really enjoying standard that much at the moment. So I wanted to just do more expanded videos. Um, I'll still do a few standard decks. I still have some fun standard ideas in mind. Um, so I will still upload standard content, but there's probably gonna be a mix of standard and expanded and maybe a legacy video before Shiny Face releases on Friday. So get hyped for that. So before we get in the video, guys, Chris, I do our sponsor, Archive and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC gel pack codes, Get them over at Car Cabin, guys. If you're looking for any set code, whether it be Vivid Voltage, Vivid Clash, Darth Blaze, Stern Shell Base Set, Team Up. Get them over at Car Cabin, guys. If you do, of course, want to get any other codes like any specific ETB codes, Unbroken, or Unbroken Mods, any Dene Train Toolkit codes, or you want to get that ADP Station Battle Kit code, get over at Car Cabin, guys. If you do get any codes over at Car Cabin at the checkout, guys, you can use my discount code, OLDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out. And help out car cabin so shout out car cabin guys check them out use code ldf if you get any codes um yeah so let's look at the list this is what i'm playing around with here um i decided to go with the roxy engine because it lets you get uh extra damage in play um and there's a lot of ways we can get damage in play with this deck now i was gonna play this originally with orbital i actually found the orbital build to be kind of bad i was never able to really use orbital i tried like two or three games with it and the orbital i never got to use eerie beam once though technically the orbital build would be fine but again, I got there was no instances where I was ever using Orbeetle. Um, so I just like scrapped it and just went straight for this Roxy build. And we are a stage two deck. Now there's actually a couple cool ways we can get this Gengar in play. We do have it, this Ghastly with Smelling Spite. Or if it's knocked out, you can actually get two Haunters in play. And this actually allows you to evolve into the Gengar immediately after. So going into your turn, you can get the Gengar in play, which is really cool. So sometimes you can go like Spell Tag on a Ghastly, gets knocked out, you put three on the active, and then you go Haunter, Gengar, Knockout. You go teammates with D Valley to attack for one energy. I also play a counter energy here if we ever have to play the counter energy onto the Gengar to creep show for with you know for two energy without having the D Valley. Um, and again, we're playing the Roxy engine with Bowlway Bomb uh, to damage. We also have Execute in the deck with Roxy. Also, Execute Roxy is a very powerful combo. Um, bunch of supporters, pretty straightforward stuff. I am playing three candies. Uh, you know, we only have two haunters. Relying on the ghastly idea, it's not a like hey, here's the thing with going with the ghastly, right? If you go ghastly. You're pretty much banking on your opponent knocking it out. Sometimes the opponent just doesn't attack the Ghastly, and it makes things really weird. So I'm actually still playing Rare Candy because sometimes your opponent will just simply not attack the Ghastly, and then you're unable to use its ability, and sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. And also there's some Pokemon that can bypass Ghastly's ability, I think, so we just have to play the Rare Candy still. We only have two Haunters. Haunters still cool. Pain Amplifier is also a good attack in this deck to help you with that damage uh, for Creep Show. Um, Sinister Fog can also get you there, too. Um, that's pretty much the list, I gotta say. Pretty straightforward stuff like Treasure, Ultra Ball, Evil Incense. Uh, 3D Valleys for the Gengar. Uh, Supporter Count's pretty straightforward. I maybe want to play another Spell Tag. Um, I can't I can't really think of any other like, good spread cards to play other than bumping up the Coco Count or maybe even playing like uh, more Haunters, I guess. I don't know. There's not really a good amount of spread cards I could think of in this deck to play outside of the Roxy Engine. You could play Zigzagoon, but then you have to play Scoop Up Net. So you have to like figure out ways to add that and fit that in the deck which is already kind of complicated so the goons i didn't really like too much um i tried a couple builds of this list i tried it with goons and nets i tried it with orbital vmax this just straightforward build with the coco and the spell tag and the wheezing roxies i found to be just more efficient and more effective so try it out hopefully we can insta kill some people all right guys get into the first match with gengar we've won the coin flip i am gonna go first um just to try to get that extra turn in and uh, we got the execute start Okay, we do still have a pretty good Roxy here. But we have to get a Ghastly because we're going first. I actually don't care if they knock on my Execute, though. Because I want it in the discard. So we'll get Ghastly here. Okay, this is for the Mewtwo. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the DC. I want to keep the Horror Energy around. They're really important. So we're going to get Ghastly. I'm going to bench the Ghastly. We're going to pass. We're going to hold the hand. And then they're going to knock me out. Hopefully. Then we go Roxy. Ghastly gets knocked out. 
You get two haunters. I probably should have checked how many haunters I have in the deck, though. That'll have to be the play. We'll see what my opponent does here. Um, I hope they knock me out. That's got to say. They kill me. I think they're a bunch of tag team. But we can just go through these EXs, right? We can go through the EXs. A pokey. What does that even do? Look for the top of your deck. Sure. I guess you can play that with a Ranguru. If you can play another card from your hand, he actually gets to draw into a card he wants. That's like, it's like a, like a budget Rodom phone. Actually, is it the same thing as a Rodom phone? Let's see what he does. I want him to knock me out. I don't want my Exeu stuck in the active. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep passing until this Exeu gets killed because I want it out of the active spot, out of harm's way. Don't want it to be in the active. I'll let him KO it. Lodestone. Okay, so he can draw into the card that he put on top with Pokédex, which is Big Brain. We'll see if it's going to be a double a colorless energy. You know, he's going to Lysander me. Okay. Knock this out, too. That's fine. I still need this Execute KO, though. So I might go into a Gengar. Okay, it doesn't have the knockout. That's fine. I think what we do, then, is we go draw something good. No. Go Horror Energy Pass. He'll knock me out, take the 20 damage, and then we're going to go Roxy Ping, Gengar Knockout. If it goes well enough. Maybe we should have returned the Execute. We'll see. We can always just get Gengar. Let the... No, I don't know. With the Giovanni scheme. I've not seen that card in forever. There's a town map. Playing Bolt Hunt for some reason. Okay, here we go. We'll knock me out. We'll take the 20 damage from the Ghastly. We feed him the Execute. Okay. Nice. Hopefully, I don't even know if we priced our Haunters now. They're there. We got all of our Gengars, too. Uh, oh, we priced a Weezing, it looks like. So we can go, let him knock out the Execute, which I'm going to do. We're going to be behind a couple prizes to make this play work. Oh, we draw the Weezing? No! Dang it. Now I regret going Execute because we drew the Weezing. Rip. That's fine. Now we can turn the Evil Winston into a Gengar next turn. Now we hope he kills the Execute, not the Haunter. And then we go Gengar Knockout. Uh, that kind of played a little weird. Hopefully he benches more Pokemon. We need him to bench more stuff here. Oh, he has a D. That doesn't let him attack, though. With his other attack. Let's see what he does. Knocks up my Execute, right? I know you want to kill the eggs, bro. I know you want those eggs in the discard pile. Team Scargrunt, sure thing. Good thing I played that Horror Energy. Because he plays Team Scargrunt. He KOs me. Is he going to bench any other Pokemon, though? I want to bench another attacker here, so we have another target to um, Roxy to. I'm hoping he does do that. We'll see, though. What's he doing? If he doesn't attack me, we can still do Roxy and try to get into a Energy D-Valley Gengar. I mean, he has to KO me. Okay, no. Sure. Evolve and make me do So we can go... I I think I still want to pass. Like, I really want my opponent to knock me out. I'm just going to keep passing until he kills my Execute. <laughs> I just want this Execute in the discard pile. That's all I care about is having the Execute in the discard pile. So. I'm going to keep waiting for him to kill it here. I don't know how this... How has the Execute stayed around for this long? I have no idea. There's a Winona. I don't know what he's going to grab. We'll see if he gets a tag team. That's why I'm curious. He gets a two-prizer, though. That's good. Yep, there we go. Nice. Nice. A lot of two-prizers. Lots of Pokemon. Roxy. Is he going to bench all of them? Oh, yo, he is. Let's go. We got more damage we can put in play. Ooh, he gets to instruct still. We probably should have field blowered, but I'll wait to do field blower. Uh, I do want to give that float zone, though. Okay, nice. He finally KOs the execute. Now we can cook and go from there. We could... Yeah. Okay. So we go Roxy, Gengar, everything's chilling. All right. We should be fine. He doesn't have another attacker. He mates. That's not going to work. Then Evil Winston for the Gengar first. Make sure we get the Gengar down. Um, We can Ultra Ball here. I'm tempted. I need to get the... If we whip the D-Valley slash Energy Merc level, but I don't think we will. I'm gonna just going to go for this... I don't want to Ultra Ball anything away. Yeah, we got the D-Valley. We get some damage on board. Ping, 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 ping. I'm going to Field Blower off the 
float stone and the air balloon too. And then we bench the ghastly. Drop the D Valley. I think I hold the hand because I want to do another Roxy next turn. Um, to take another knockout. So keep show. Bye bye, Mewtwo Y. You didn't stand a chance, buddy. You get knocked out. You get some prizes here. There's another Roxy, so we can get another Gengar in play. Or yeah, we got another Gengar. Alright, cool. Can he knock me out? I don't think he can. He can go he can rage me or horn attack me, I guess, for 60 damage, and then he takes 20, and then we don't actually have to play the Roxy. Which we're gonna do anyways. We just wanna keep doing Roxy and keep building up a hand. We need to get more Gengars down. I wanna at least have another Gengar in play here. Gengar might just sweep his entire I don't even know if he can ever knock this out. This guy has no real energy acceleration system. So like I don't know how he's ever gonna knock out this Gengar. Um the Gengar should just take all the prizes here, maybe. My boy is too OP. He's too good, bro. The Gengar's too strong. What's he gonna do? He can, again, he can... Oh, no, he has a D-Valley. Okay, he can actually do, like, Super Cross. That's not a really, that's not really a big deal, though. I guess, okay, maybe he, he could do Psychic, actually, for... But he can't knock me out. There's still no knockout attacks. He can copy Psychic for 80. But if he attacks me, he gets knocked out. With, even though I'm going to Roxy anyways. But it's like, he still attacks me, he gets KO'd. So it's not advised. I do want to get a Spell Tag in play, actually. Just to guarantee the win. Because he could play a Heal card. But I do want to get a Spell Tag if I can. I want to get Guzma too. Might promote the Guru. Because we just got to knock out Mew and then one more Pokemon we win. Bridget. Can this get him a Pokemon that can knock me out? If it does, it's not the end of the world. We can still probably knock him out, but... Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. That's not gonna knock me out. Here we go. Like, and he gets the 20 damage. So, this thing is getting creep showed. And we drew a Gengar. And he can see. Gengar's too good. Hey right, guys, getting into our next match here. We've won the coin flip again. I'm gonna go first still. I think it's still relevant to go first this deck. Um, because you never know what might go wrong. So, we'll see. Uh, probably gonna treasure away our top deck for Ghastly. No, we're playing against ADP, and I don't play Pokemon Ranger in this deck. Which is kind of a problem. Okay, we'll get rid of the Psychic Energy. Ghastly. Okay, so in this matchup, we actually can't use our ability because they'll take two prizes, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Honestly, I think we have the Rare Candy, but we can't how are we going to get damage on this? I might have to go Tapu Koko. So if I have the Field Blower now, my opponent will get access to a Field Blower, which I don't think they play. I want to try to get into a Tapu Koko if I can next turn. I don't think we're going to get there, though, with our current hand. We can also Energy Drive. I'll hold. I'll hold the hand. We have a good hand. I mean, we have a Haunter. I'm probably not going to be able to use Swan's Fight again. ADP, you know, I don't play Ranger in this deck. Okay, they don't have the Double Dragon. Not even Ranger is a problem, but you know what? Once we get three damage on this, ADP is insta KO'd. And we only have the one Lele, so they still have to go through three Pokemon to knock me out. There's the... Wow, that was a good top deck. So we can just energy drive them for 60, which is fine. Um, put that on. Did we just end them here? Try to get more Ghastlies. Definitely want to get a Roxy combo. No, we got the Roxy and... Well, we got the Weezer and the Execute. Got the Gengar too for next turn. So we are able to knock out this ADP. So if they go Alter Creation, we're gonna go Creep Show, and this ADP is going to be Thanos snapped out of existence. They could be playing Rough Seas. They're playing a water deck. Rough Seas is a bit of a problematic card for a deck. There's the energy. They do have the Alter Creation here. Do they have an enhanced hammer and a field blower? That would be pretty annoying because then we can't move the Lele right away. Unless we draw a D Valley, and then we can go Gengar using Hard Retreat. Do they also have a Blastoise? They do. Deluge. Oh, Blastoise GX. Yeah. That's fine. Another two prize Pokemon. We can insta KO. And there's the AC. That is fine. We may not play Ranger, but we are going to take out this ADP here. Treasure. What do I want here? Another Ghastly, I think, is what I want. I'm going to knock him out and hold the hand because I want to maybe see if we can get a Gengar next turn so we can make use of this rare candy. Here we go. Creep Show. Bye bye, ADP. You don't exist. You don't exist. Not to Gengar, bro. Not to a Gengar. And there's the Gengar play. There's another Gengar. There's a Haunter. All right. Beautiful stuff. Let's go. And that's how you do it. ADP is no longer a threat. Uh, my opponent can still knock me out. 
if they do get a what's this thing here so if they knock me out here we have to draw a roxy to finish them off and then we have to get a oh they concede adp bro adp who i've never seen an adp in my life bro i jump into another match uh probably against a fire deck here they have a charmander deck box we do lose the coin flip uh they're probably gonna make me go first no they're gonna go first Maybe we can try to do flying fl Oh my gosh, execute again. No. This hand is good though. We do have a Roxy play. Oh, this would have been perfect. If we didn't start with execute, we would have had a really nice Roxy turn one. Oh, we're playing against the stall mill deck. Okay, I actually have an idea of how we can beat this. We can use Haunter or Gengar. We don't play a lot of energy though. Okay. This is fine. Actually, Haunter does work in this matchup because Pain Amplifier can wipe their entire board. That's what we're going to try to go for. It's going to have to be the Haunter show. What am I doing? I definitely need the Goose. I think we're going to Ultra Ball away and in Roxy. Get Ghastly. We got the Haunters. That's good. Can we pass? Then we go... Oh, we have the Guzma Roxy, though. Maybe we should hard retreat then. Yeah, we should hard retreat. We don't need the counter G anyways. It's a useless card in this matchup. Okay. The next three go Roxy, go Haunter, and go from there. So they have to fill their bench up. Now, the only way they can beat me is if they discard both Haunters and the Stretcher off of a Devour. Because we don't play Dazz Machine. Fill? All right. That's fine. I mean, I want them to get more Durance, but I also don't at the same time. The less cards they mill, the better, I guess, because Roxy does draw six cards. Maybe we should have kept the N, actually, because we do want to use it in this matchup. Interesting Durant list. I don't agree with the dolls, though. That doesn't make a... Why? Yeah, actually, I'm still playing Skyfield. What's the point of the dolls? Okay, that's fine. That's a useless card. Yeah, what is the point of playing the dolls? I actually don't get that. Because you need to have your bench open for Durant. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Do we want to go two? Yeah, we do. Because we can actually knock out all these walls here. Which is funny. We do need to save Roxy, though, because we do still need Roxy here. But we can always go Sinister Fog and then into a Haunters. We can go Gengar. We can try to establish two Haunters and a Gengar. So. Do we ever need D-Valley? I don't think so. I'll get rid of the D-Valley. I don't think we ever need it. We have Cynthia, actually, so that can help us. I don't think we ever really need the D-Valley here. Kind of useless. Um... Knocked out by damage. They can see? No, no. Dang it, I wanted to use my Haunter there. Dang it, bro. So that's how we beat the control matchup, is we use Haunter. Yeah, a bit of a weird deck. I don't agree with the dolls, because you need Durant to play, and they, I don't know. Either way, Haunter, again, we just went Haunter the entire game there. Board wipe. We can beat Stall, bro. Beating Mill, Stalls, and ADP back to back. You guys, getting into another match. We've lost the coin flip. All right. My question is, will we start with Lele or Execute again? Uh, we could also start with Coughing. We'll see. Hopefully, we don't get a bad starter, though. We'll see what we're playing against here. Um, are, unfortunately, mulliganing, which is not ideal, but we can definitely make use of what our hand will look like. Hopefully, they're playing a tag team deck. About to see. Here we go. New hand, one time. Coco Star, beautiful. Okay. We have a Roxy. We don't have much else going on in our hand, though. We have an Ultra Ball. We could just Lele for Cynthia, which I might have to do next turn. We'll have to see. The goal goes fine, because we can maybe try to get a DC and go for some flying flip damage. Get some damage on board for the Gengar here. We'll have to see how that goes. Oh, what? I mulligan that many times? Oh, no, bro. That's so bad. Now we have the Lele for N. Okay, we're playing against Eternatus. And we draw a Ghastly. All right, things are looking up. So, is it damage by an attack? So, when this Pokemon's knocked out, so they can knock me out with Goon. Okay, so we're going to go into the Ghastly. Clap the Spell Tag and pass. Hope they kill me. Eternatus, we can beat. Eternatus might have the most HP for a VMAX, right? 304 HP. Yeah, it might be a little overkill. Uh, might be a little overpowered, but Creep Show gets the job done. So, we'll see how that goes. If they KO me, we go double Haunter. Actually, oh, we have a knockout if they KO me here. Yeah, we have a knockout because we can go Lele for teammate. 
the valley is already in our hand. I like it. There's a calm. We'll see if they KO my Ghastly here. I want them to. They can knock me out Goonpings, maybe. That's kind of hard, though. They need a lot, even though it's only four. Uh, but if they knock me out Goonpings, we also still get Haunter, so it's all good. We get Well, Spell takes only damage from an attack, right? Yeah. That would... Okay, so the Goon Ping is you don't want them to do. Because then we don't get Spell Tag. We need the Spell Tag to get damage. We can always go for Flying Flip, though. We really have to. Flying Flip and, like, Weezing Roxy is really good in a matchup where they have a potential eight Pokemon field. So it's actually fine. Are we playing against a standard version? I feel like we we're playing against a standard version of Eternatus. There's a Hoopa. Oh, they can go Hoopa, but they can't know because they're already attached. What are they doing? We could Guzma the Hoopa up and trap it and make him go for the Eternatus. Because I'd rather knock out the Eternatus and the Hoopa. I might, if they don't knock me out here, I might go with, I might gust up the Hoopa. I'm hoping they don't know what I'm playing against, what they're playing against. So I'm hoping they don't know that I can actually KO the Eternatus here if they attack me. I guess it's not the VMAX though. Looks like they will get the knockout. Right? Yeah, they can get the KO. Luckily Hoopa doesn't hit for weakness, so they can't assaultate my Gengar and knock it out. For one, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna ping that, that's fine. Power accelerator for the knockout. They are gonna get extra energy in play though, which I guess is kind of annoying. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like how they get the extra energy in play though. Maybe they don't have it though, we'll see. Go 3 1. Do they have the extra energy? They do. Awesome, I love power accelerator. We're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 1 there. That's a little bad. Now they can knock out my Gengar a lot easier. Okay, we have the Lele. We do have the teammate. Okay. We got the squad. I think the best top deck we can get is probably Lele or a Roxy piece. Wouldn't be bad either. Well, that works too. Oh, we have to get... Actually, teammates won't... Oh, man, that's actually not going to work. We do actually have to get rid of something else. I can just Ultra Ball here and then just go Roxy. I, I I might just do that, right? And then we can maybe go Fly and Flip because I actually... Knocking them out here is bad. We'll have a dead hand. Yeah, I think we just go Roxy. We'll get rid of the Guzma and the Rare Candy. We'll just get a Roxy piece. We'll have to Roxy away the Gengar, but that's fine. Try to get a bigger hand if we can. Oh, we didn't get any energy or DC though. Yikes. Got some more gases, which is cool. We have the Lele, so that's at least something. We can hold that and do Roxy again. We can let the Ghastly get knocked out. I kind of want to keep Coco alive, so... I think we'll just let him kill the Ghastly. Honestly, I, we might just... I might just end them. We don't really have to do Roxy anymore. You can put another Spell Tag on and just end them here. Next turn, yeah, that's fine. Instead of Roxy, we'll end them. We're kind of far behind, though. They can knock me out with Power Accelerator again, though. Maybe we should have kept the Coco in the active then, because then they can't knock me out with Power Accelerator. Now they, they don't have to go VMAX here. They could also knock me out with Hoopa, which could be a bit of an issue. They come with Hoopa, though. We put two spell tags on it. I guess so they could have knocked out Coco with Hoopa, though, at the end of the day, also. They have enough Goon Pinks to probably knock out. They, you literally just. Yeah, they could have knocked out Coco, right? They could have just went Goon Pink, knock out Coco. Are they going to knock out both Ghastlies here? Is that actually about to happen? They should be putting the Goon Pinks on the active so they don't get. So spell tag doesn't activate. Hmm. See what happens here. They could have a boss on my Haunter. We could Pain Amplifier too, maybe. I don't think that's... I think we have to just try to get a knock. We, I hope they put the VMAX in play. I'm hoping they evolve into a VMAX here. Very unlikely because they know they can one-shot me with one energy. But I want them to go VMAX. Let's go. Let's go. Love to see it. All right, awesome. I, I mean, I'm speechless. They just, they went VMAX. It worked out. Now we can go teammates for the knockout. Oh, if only we played Chorus, bro. But I honestly didn't. Oh, good thing they didn't Marnie me. Um, yeah, I wish I played Chorus, but like, I don't know. Chorus isn't really that good in here, to be honest, because we're already, our hands are already usually big anyways. But now I wish I played Chorus. Ooh, they might actually knock out my gas. Oh my gosh. Do they actually have it? They have one net left and one goon. They have no way to draw cards. Do they actually have a knock on my Ghastly here? 
They actually would have knocked out the active Ghastly if they didn't put the ping on that other Coco. What? They actually hit the knockout on the Ghastly? Oh my... Chill, bro. We can still win with two Gengars, though. We can still have to knock out two VMAXs. We have Stretcher, too. It's not the end of the world. Ew, and I got no Haunters. I get for playing two. I would have played three Haunters. Maybe we should play three. I don't know. Let's see what they do here. They knock me out. We put more damage on the bench to turn to this. Nice. Can go one here. We can put two on the Hoopa. One on the Crobat. Sure. I don't know. I'm not going to put any on the Goons because they can net it. I guess they can net the Hoopa too, but I doubt that'll happen. All right. Let's see if we can get a knockout this turn, guys. What do we top deck? Perfect. All right. That's really good. So we can just go teammates, or Gengar, energy. I think it's always the horror energy. Just in case. We go D-Valley. And then we have the uh, we have the Lele for the Roxy play. This should be good. We could win here. We'll see if they have a counter stadium. We are taking three prizes plus a top deck for next turn. So we're, they're not guaranteed to kill me too. They have to go with another VMAX. If they do that, we can win the game if they... if Maybe. So I think we're in a good spot right now. I think we're in a good spot. Benching... I guess if we bench Lele and we do whip the knockout, we could be in trouble. Because then we might not be able to... Pull it off. But if we get a teammates, we just win, I think. I think getting teammates guarantees or getting via seeker will guarantee a win here. I really wish I played Colrus, but whatever. Floatstone, that's not good. There we go. There's a Roxy target. There's the Roxy. So we actually don't have to bench Lele, which is good because then we don't have to walk into a boss knockout for game. Okay. Could we have maybe won the game with a flying flip if we put more damage on the board? I don't think so. They actually promote the goon, so they have that last scoop up net. Unless they play Ops to Goon, which I don't think they do. There's no way they can knock out Gengar with the Hoopa. Like, if it does happen, that's really bad. But I, they, 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 there's no way. We'll see if they have it, though. There's the net. They have to play Ops to Goon to KO me here. That's their last Goon ping. Unless they play Sacred Ash and get rid of all the Goons. Actually, what they could have done, actually, when we knocked out the Eternity, they could have gotten rid of this Eternatus. So we can't knock it out. That could have been actually a pretty good play in my opponent's end, but I guess... I guess they still want the attacker. That would have been bad. They're losing a lot of energy, too. They're down 8. Not, they're down 10 energy. They probably have, like, 1 or 2 energy left in their deck. I don't even know if they can attack with this anymore at this point. They actually fail the quick ball. They probably have Crobat in their hand. Do they have a Marnie, though? I'm actually... Marnie could be pretty bad. I think They can't knock me out, but a Marnie would be pretty bad. Marnie would definitely be... Yeah, Marnie would suck because then we lose our Roxy. We still have a ton of outs, though, to draw. It's not... Actually, yeah, Roxy's fine. Or Marnie's fine. But Marnie still, like, gets rid of our hand. I'm actually curious to see if they play a counter stadium. I want to know... Yeah, I want to know if they have a counter stadium to my D-Valley. That would also kind of do it for them. We have Guzman there? We do. So we draw... Actually, if they put the VMAX in play, we can also draw Guzman and win the game. The doubt will actually happen, but... I've seen it. And there's an Assault Gate. All right. Nice. What do we draw? Ooh, another Gengar. It's amazing. So, we're just going to Roxy. Yeah, I'm going to Roxy. I might even fly and flip this turn. Never mind. Not going to happen. The fact that they get another turn just in play is really good, too. Just one thing they could have had is another turn. Just. So, as long as they don't play an Ops to Goon, Rare Candy, I don't think this thing is ever getting knocked down. They could have a second Hoopa, though. We have the Seeker in our hand, though, so we're fine. We have no Ghastlies left, unfortunately. So, pressure doesn't get us anything. Oh, we do have a Ghastly. Oh, because one of these is a Haunter. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize. Okay, let's go. Now we're even in a better spot. Creep show. Bye-bye, Hoopa. Now he's got Knockout, Crobat, or Return just to win. Uh, energy's really good. That's a nice prize. And let's see what my opponent can do. The best thing they could do, I feel like, is reset stamp me. There's nothing I could have done about that. I didn't want to play a single card in my hand, though. Obviously, I don't want to bench Lele. I don't want to play a treasure because I can save that for Gengar next turn in case something crazy happens. So I think I think we hold the hand. I don't know if they play Stamp. I don't even know if they have another energy. They're down 11 to 10 energy right now. I don't know if they have any energy left. They have to get rid of my hand and knock me out with a bench turn just to have a shot of winning this. But they need a... They would need a Marnie. They'd also have to hope I don't get another via Seeker, which I still have all my Seekers left. I haven't played one yet. So... They need to knock me out with the turn on the bench. 
But no, but we're horror energy in that. But then we have to go Roxy knockout, which we still have access to. I, it's hard for them to win this, I feel like. I'm trying to think of the outs. They'd have to like, they'd have to play Ops to Goon if they want to have a shot at beating me. But even then that won't work. It's harder. To, they got to be out of energy now. They've literally played 12 energy. I played 11. That should be their last energy. They should be game over here. Unless they Marnie me. No, they're going to boss. That's fine. Because we have Guzma. That's game. Imagine a 130 HP Pokemon one-shotting a 340 HP Titan of a Pokemon like Eternatus. Who would have guessed that would ever be possible? We may be weak to Dark, but we beat Dark at the end of the day. And that'll wrap the video, guys, on the Gengar deck. I think we should have shown up the deck. A lot of games just went by quick. That I wish we played out that Durant game. At least at the very least, I wish we attacked them. Because I'm telling you, bro, the Haunter is actually kind of good against those stall and control decks because they fill up their bench with Pokemon with low HP and then Pain Amplifier Roxy just obliterates their board. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for the video on the deck here. A lot of fun to play this deck. Um, it's a really cool archetype because Gengar is a really cool card. I know it's a fan favorite card of a lot of people. After playing the deck, I think I maybe want to make a few changes. The big change I'd probably make is honestly maybe add another Roxy combo. Like maybe add a second Coughing, play another Coco. I do think a third Haunter can go in here. Um, I think two is fine, but a third Haunter might not be terrible because there might be moments where you have to use Pain Amplifier. So yeah, maybe play a third Haunter. Other than that, I think this list was fine. I think the deck played pretty well. We did what we wanted to do. We accomplished the goal of insta-KOing Pokemon. We insta-KO'd an AVP and an Eternatus, two of the biggest, most feared Pokemon in the game right now. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a good video. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 14 thousand subscribers check out car cabin down below if you guys get any codes over there use code ldf uh follow me on twitter down below check out my patreon down below if you guys want to pledge two dollars a month for exclusive content check out my patreon um i just posted a new video today check it out that'll be it for the video hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys on another pco video probably tomorrow yeah that'll be it for me Bye bye